Despite renewed efforts to shut down anti-government protests, fires burn in Baghdad and other southern Iraqi cities. They mark the lines between blocks controlled by the protest camps and blocks controlled by government forces. Since Friday night, when prominent Iraqi Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr withdrew his support from the protests, clashes have intensified and at least 12 more people have died. We are here since October 1st to show this country is for all Iraqis. You can hear the live bullets. We will stay here until we get our rights and kick out the corrupt people that destroyed this country. And while protests continue to draw popular support, young men and teenage boys are usually the ones fighting security forces and militias. Some have nothing to lose. The victims are teenagers who open their eyes to see their country with no future. There is no government, work, education, health care, and no services. In the history, we have never seen brutality, cruelty, and stupid government ruling Iraq like these. Diplomats from 16 countries in a Monday statement condemned the violence against the protesters, who they said also face intimidation and abduction. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Baghdad.